Lawmakers in New York City have decided at last to largely ban the use of solitary confinement in the city's jails. So there's been a lot of focus on solitary confinement in New York City prisons and jails. And they're finally doing something about it. It is not going to be completely banned, but it is going to be severely curtailed and new regulations will be placed over the practice. But bear in mind that just because the lawmakers in New York are in favor of this does not mean that like all of the city's Democrats are uh, are happy about it. Mayor Eric Adams is not in favor of it. He said that he doesn't like the bill in its current form because he believes that it essentially gives a person that's already been jailed on charges of violence further quote due process. He says that's the same as if someone comes and commits a felonious assault on you. And before the police officer can put them in jail, you need to give them a due process before you can put them in jail. Uh, okay, like I love that he's focusing on the fact that in the moment it seems too fair to the person rather than there are people who've rotted in solitary confinement for years, lost their minds, died as a result of it, committed suicide. We, we literally have cases of that. Back in 2019, New York City had to pay $3.3 million to the family of Khalif Browder, who was jailed at Rikers for three years for stealing a backpack in 2010. He's 16 years old, he was put in solitary confinement for two years. And he eventually took his life in 2015, the family says, because of the violence and physio- physiological damage they suffered. At Riker. So, congratulations to the mayor of New York for ignoring that sort of case and just focusing on the fact that we're being too nice to the prisoners. But, Mondale, what do you think about this? Listen, we, we, sh- we have to be honest. I mean, Solitary confinement in any capacity is absolutely incorrect. And this is this is what Malcolm X would say. You know, this is the person who stabbed you took the knife six inches out your back when it's still three inches left. We shouldn't be celebrating it. Uh, we need to do away with solitary confinement completely. And I'm not I'm not completely sold that we even need prisons. It's not like we've always had prisons as a part of our society. And I and I and that's where I'm at on it. So uh Mayor, uh, Mayor Eric Adams is absolutely incorrect in this in this incident. And unfortunately this is not the only time he's been wrong. Yeah, no, he's been on a tear over the last year actually. Um so by the way, just to give you a little bit of details, uh So the legislation prohibits inmates from being held in isolation in a cell for more than two hours during the day during one 24 hour period or for more than eight hours at night to sleep. It can still be used to deescalate conflict or if they pose an immediate danger to another person. So you can still be separated, but it can't exceed four hours in a 24 hour period. And they actually have to be checked on. So staff or mental health professionals will occasionally look in on them rather than just dumping them in there and largely forgetting that they exist for years at a time. So this seems reasonable, I'm happy about it. You know who else is probably happy about it? Representative Marjorie Green, remember? She was so freaked out about January 6 prisoners being put in solitary confinement. And I have to assume that her opposition was to the barbaric practice, not to the fact that it was being applied to conservatives. So I'm sure she's celebrating right now. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.